was uh, part of a, one of the local blood gangs here in the West City. But I got introduced about 15 uh, in 1975 in Los Angeles. I was just there visiting and uh, wind up getting introduced to that lifestyle. Uh, stayed out there three months, then went back home and got away from all of that. And, uh, and uh, later on in life, after I was actually a grown man, I got addicted to drugs and, and alcohol and wind up going back to that life in the, in the uh, early and mid thirties. It was just kind of exciting, you know, the, the fighting and the staying out all night and I was away from my parents, you know, so I was able to stay up late and, and uh, pretty much do what I wanted to do. Uh, but uh, older, as I got older, it was just a way of supporting my drug addiction, basically, is what drew me back to that lifestyle. Well, I never made it to prison, and I'm glad about that, but uh, uh, I minister inside the prisons now, but I've been, been in the county jails from here in New Jersey, yeah, did a lot of jail time. I had family, had a little son at the time, and now and later on we had a daughter, but uh, at first I wasn't married, then I got married in 94, and, and uh, uh, naturally it was hard on the relationship, you know, barely made it, but we're still married, and, and uh, but uh, at the time we were separated quite a bit just because of my lifestyle, and, uh, which was best. Uh, I was living a pretty dangerous lifestyle. I know I was raised different. I knew that wasn't me. Um, I probably would have stayed in the lifestyle longer. I just didn't like the, the, the drug addiction. And, and I was fighting to get away from that. And, and, but in order to get away from the drugs, I had to get away from the lifestyle. So uh, I wound up going back to church, uh, back uh, to where I knew it was safe, around some people that was gonna help me go the right direction. and and uh, but. I was really just trying to get away from the drugs, but uh, when I went back to church, I wound up being delivered from everything. And, and of course now I'm, I'm pastoring now. So I deal with men and women that are caught up in the gang lifestyle, uh, not just on the outside, but in the prisons as well. Yes, we started task in March of uh, uh, 2007. Uh, we had our first meeting with the different gang sets uh, April the 14th. Uh, here at the church, and um, I think we had, had 27 people there, and there was 14 different gang sets there at that first meeting, and it went on from there. I realized I had gotten disconnected from the streets. I was preaching one Sunday, and, and uh, after I finished preaching, I always give an invitation to Christ, and uh, I saw a hand on the very back row raise up, uh, you know, Someone raised their hand in the very back row. I could only see their hand in the air. And, uh, and I just said, hey, you have something to say. And then this young man stepped out in the aisle and he said, I'm a gangbanger. And uh, I heard everything that you said. And, and he said, uh, I'm tired of this lifestyle. I'm, I'm gonna die in these streets if I keep doing what I'm doing. He pulled out his blue bandana and, and I told him to come up. And, we talked, and at that point, I, wind, I, I realized that I had become disconnected from the street. I had worked so hard to get away from that lifestyle; I was just, it just didn't exist to me anymore. And then, uh, but when that happened, I realized that there was a need. I still needed to be connected and in a different way, you know, as an avenue that can help men, young men, and women find a better way. Francisco was been prison twice been shot several times and actually died once and came back. And uh, he was the leader of one of the largest uh, uh, Hispanic gangs here in the city, and one of the founders. And uh, he's turned his life totally around. He's, he's one of my faithful church members, uh, one of my leaders in my church. Uh, committed, family man, little boy, wife, you know, doing well, working, been working, been holding down a job for uh, last two years, same job. So there's several testimonies uh, of uh, men and women that's, that have became a part of this program and, and made a better life for themselves. And we're hoping more come through.